I need four. Um, Ursula, you'll be a kid, oh. won't you? And um, one little heart. So, Mitzi, you'll be the first part. And we'll do this on the black keys because they stick out and they're easier to see the, the where you are better. So, we're going to do an F sharp version of Ferrajaka. And um, Mitzi, the first little kid, I'm going to teach, um, I'm going to say step, stepping up, skip down. Step up, skip down. Yeah. And then Joan, I'm going to teach um, a little bit higher. I'm going to go black, white, black, stepping up. <laughs> and then um, Ursula, I'm going to teach the, the trickiest part. We're going to go up and down the twin black keys. <laughs> and then the white key, and then skip down the black keys. So as I'm showing her by road, I'm also talking about the orientation to the black and white keys, and, and you know the twins and triplets, and and so forth. So we're not just saying do this, but we're we're getting a, a sense of up and down and high and low and steps and skips. So. And then uh, Cindy is going to do uh, a. Bottom triplet, bottom twin, bottom triplet. High, low, high for the last part. And then every part will have a repeat. You do it twice. So if you can come and find your spots again in front of your part. We're going to link it all together. And I'm going to start up a little steady beat. Maybe I'll put you in the seat. You can do it here. Yeah, I'm going to set up a little steady beat walking bass on F sharp, C sharp. Like we're walking up to wake up the little Frere Jaca. Thank you. 
more fun than sitting at a bench and, you know, saying now, play this note, this note, this note. It's, it's very interactive. Uh, now, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> moving, moving the song up uh, level to level one, what we now might do with it is move it to the key of G and apply uh, our chord formula, which is that in your five finger pattern, if you're on, if your melody is mostly on one, three, or five, you play the one chord. And if your melody is mostly on two or four, then you switch to the five, seven chord. Now for a jaca, can be played with just the one chord, one per measure. In which case, maybe we'd want to create a little variety with a uh, dynamics in, but we can increase the harmonic rhythm rate of change with a one, five, one on each, on each, uh, each phrase. So we have um, a chance to talk about passing tones and upper and lower neighbors, the passing tone between the G and the B. If we do it as a one chord, um, and the upper now let's uh, move, um, move this a little bit. Oh, and then once we have our uh, solid chord, then we can dress up the chord with an Alberti bass. Or uh, maybe a, a boogie uh, cowboy or a boogie woogie bass. So there's, um, once you learn your chords, there's many things you can do. Now moving this up to another level, uh, we, we enjoy doing Ferrajaka in a round, um, and one thing that it might be fun to try to do is to invite your students to play their right hand, play a round with their left hand. So when you do that, you begin to see parallel ten. <laughs> to begin practicing coordination that you're going to need for the Bach inventions in a playful way. It's a nice challenge. Um, perhaps you might in invite them to try and play the song by ear before they open the book to look at the music. And we don't want to forget the Frere Jaca uh, putting into minor and the wonderful opportunity to visit Mahler's symphony that um, has the wonderful Frere Jaffa in it. it. It's, you know, the answer to when people say, well, I don't want to play that, that's a baby song, and then you can say, well, was it too babyish for Mahler? And last, the last example, of the use is in a uh, repertoire of intermediate uh, and, and beyond. In the concept of looking at, um, when you see a group of notes as a pattern, the pattern of three steps up, skip down, we can begin to see that in repertoire as a pattern and sequences. And once you see the pattern and sequences, it takes all those notes and boils them down into one little pattern that you can um, recognize and shortens your learning of pieces tremendously. Also assures that you're gonna play them accurately. Some famous pieces with the Frere Jaca in them. Uh, the minuet in G in the, in the section. And then the third one that, that goes a fourth down instead of a skip down, this is a chance to point that out and, and um, perhaps avoid a mistake there. Rondo a la Turca. Here it comes. So, um, it's your chance to go hunting for Frere Jaca 
and see how many pieces you can find it in. And um, if you want to know what the other of the 35 concepts are that are in Frère Jacques, you go looking yourself and if you need some help, you can um, go to the information on my sheet, which is on my website, and you'll also find information about summer sessions, training sessions that I'm doing. Thank you.